Okay, E7, welcome to your video tutorial today. Just revising like terms and what they mean. Okay, whenever we have terms with exactly the same pronumerals, we actually give them a name. We talked about this briefly last lesson. They're called like terms and they can be collected and combined. You can only group like terms. So, for example, we were talking last lesson, if we had 3 of x and 5 of x, okay, that's 3 of one thing I don't know, and I've called it x. And if I call, sorry, 5 of one thing I don't know, and if I've called it x, I have another 3 of that same thing. I know it's the same thing because it has the same pronumeral. They both have x. So I can simplify and group them. If I have 3 of them plus 5 of them, I have 8 of them all together. If the two terms don't have the exact same pronumerals, they have to be kept separate. So I can't group them together. So if I had 3 of x and 5 of y, that's three of two different things I don't know because I've given them different pronumerals, so I can't group them together. They cannot be simplified and they must be left as is. So let's have a look at some examples. What kind of things will I require for you to do? Well, the first thing I'd like you guys to do when we're looking at like terms is get out a few different colored pens or get used to kind of highlighting information. So it says simplify the following by collecting like terms. I have 7b plus 2 plus 3b. I have three terms all together, but I have two sets of like terms. I have 3b and 7b, and then I have a 2, okay? So what I've done is I've underlined in different colors the different types of terms. Then I read from left to right. That's a positive 7b plus 3b. So 7b plus 3b is 10b. So it equals 10b. And now I can't group this plus 2 because it's a different one. So I hit plus 2. And that's as far as I can simplify it. I can't actually do any more than that. Let's look at b. 12d. Okay, I've got 4d. And I've got d. Now, why have I underlined them all in the same color? Well, they're all exactly the same term, okay? They all have the same pronumeral. They're all like terms. Uh, the D doesn't have a coefficient, but I hope we remember from last week, if I have a pronumeral without a coefficient, it's 1. So, let's move from left to right. I have 12 of, some, of D, and then I subtract 4 of that D. So, 12D subtract 4D is 8D. And then I add a D, so I add 1D. 8D plus 1D equals 9D. Okay, it's just a matter of working through slowly. Let's have a look at C. 5 plus 2, 12a plus 4b minus 2 minus 3a. Well, first let's group our like terms. I've got an a here and an a there. Okay, I've got a numeral here or an integer here and an integer there. And then I also have a 4b. Okay, so while I might have five terms, I have three sets of terms or three like terms. First off, I'll deal with the numbers because they come first. That's 5 and I've got a 2. It's interesting to note that that's a negative 2, guys. That's 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, now I'm just grouping them together. 12a minus 3a. 12a minus 3a. 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay, that's positive 9a. Okay, because 12a minus 3a is 9a. And if my numbers are positive, I make sure I put that little plus in there. So that's, the, that's these ones done. That's these ones done. And now all I'm left with is this plus 4b. Okay? The other examples. Okay, let's have a look at these ones here. So I have 13a plus 8b plus 2a minus 5b minus 4a. Okay, let's group my a's. 13a... 2a, 4a, okay, and then 8b, 5b, okay. Let's move from left to right. 13a plus, now it's a plus 2a, I have to look at the number, the, the value before it. It's a positive 13 and I add 2a, so that will get me 15a, minus 4a is 11a, okay. Plus 8b, so a positive 8b, and I'm minus 5b. So 8b minus 5b is 3b. Okay, last example here, 12uv. Oh, now isn't this interesting? I've got uv here and I've got vu. It doesn't matter what order the pronumerals are in, 
but they, they so I can say UV or VU they just have to be together. So these ones here are actually like terms. So VU and UV are exactly like terms. Okay, and then I've got the 7 plus 3. Okay, that's a really interesting point to make. So if you want to draw a bubble off to the side and write, doesn't matter what order the pronumerals are in, as long as they are the same. Okay, they can be like terms as long as they're the same. So... 12UV minus 3VU, okay, they're the same thing, so 12 minus 3 is 9UV. Now, we like to write them in alphabetical order where we can, so this one here is written as VU, this one's UV, um, I like to, we like to write them in alphabetical order, so it's good to just adopt one. It's not a big problem, but if you can write them in alphabetical order, that's better, okay, plus 7U plus 3U. Okay, so 7U plus 3, oh, so, sorry, 7V plus 3V becomes 10V. And that's it, guys. That's grouping like terms.